Enzo just got a fright there from Zach and Sachis. They just made a noise by trying to chase a cat. Well, he didn't really run, did he? <laughs> Enzo, are these two dogs trying to get you to run so they can chase you? Yeah, he's so intrigued with the pool and the smell of chlorine. He just loves it. He's in such a good mood. <laughs> and he's just walking around, checking everything out. The Jaeger as well. But he's just more into the checking stuff out. And Enzo is more into smelling things out. Just look at him. Absolutely beautiful. That shape of him is amazing. I found my car a girlfriend. Can you believe it? Just quickly grabbing a bite to eat and uh, a beer to drink. And that's what Jackie is having. That's what Jackie is having. <laughs> Monkey's favorite, apples. There is just no way that you can beat apples for a monkey. They love it. Well, this fish is looking absolutely amazing. But I'm not sure. Maybe I must go check in Cape Town what the snook looks like there and what it costs. And, uh, yeah, then I'll come back here and buy some of this. Because I don't need to bring it back all the way. So yeah, let me just see if I can catch a plane and go and check it out. Okay, so they are still making progress over here. Let me just squeeze through here. Okay, this guy squeezed through there. <laughs> but yeah, in any case, it is almost done on this side. Yeah. People do tend to drive over red r robots, we call it robots here in South Africa. Traffic lights, and I can't really see there. Let me see through this guy's window how far they are. <laughs> yeah, almost done with that side. Okay, I just quickly came to throw away all the rubbish. And just look how far they've gotten with their collection. It's like I haven't been here for quite a while. Yeah, they went quite far. Just look at that. Old stuff that they probably find over here that people threw away. And just by stacking it like that, they've got quite a collection there. <laughs> right, let me throw this stuff away, get back home. Okay, so that's the second cat I've seen here now. I guess there is a few of them around. I'll check if I can. But there's no way you're going to catch them. You can forget about it. They live their life out here. And if you approach them, they just run away. There he goes. These little ones are just finding something to eat over here. So, yeah, that's a big problem for me because I guess I would want to bring them food, but how can I do it every day? It becomes a big, big problem. And they're not very old, but he's just, there goes the other one. He's under there. Yeah, so how do you make that decision? How do you do it? What do you do? Do you just leave them? Do you just feed them? Because once you start putting out food, you're going to have to keep on doing it. You have to basically catch them. And then, well, <laughs> they are wild as can be, I guess. You're not going to just catch them. 
I'll see what I can do. There's the other one as well. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. It's probably three or four. I'll think about it. I'll see what I can do. Hey. <laughs> there he is. If they come to me now, I'll take them home. <laughs> They're not even gonna come close. I should have brought food. I should always have food with me in all the cars. Yeah, that's what I should do. So my truck is empty, I have to get fuel in, but if I'm going to stop to put fuel in, I'm not going to be able to go and take some food to those kittens. So I have to make a decision, am I going to drive on empty and make it, or stop and fill up and not. So <laughs> yeah, that's a decision for you, but let me get home, get some pellets quickly go back and feed those kittens and then decide on how to take it further all the doves also showing up my car so dirty just look at the dust on the windshield but there's no time I have to go now okay the tigers are just gonna have to wait a couple of minutes more I'm just quickly gonna go back and feed those kittens I have to do it. <laughs> That's just one of those things. How can you not do it? And uh, then I'll start thinking of a way to try and catch them more. Do something to get them. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. But if I catch them, I can bring them here. <laughs> and, well, let me just get the food and take it to them. Now, what kind of food do you want to give the kittens because if you're going to spoil them with something nice then they're not going to eat anything else so i have to decide but okay i'm just going to give them some of vegetarian cats food that is a very good brand and they love it so let's just spoil them at least for now <laughs> yeah i'll do that okay so quickly going back it'll take me half an hour but then I'll be back home and I can quickly feed the tigers <laughs> well and all the others as well but those cats are gonna need something to eat uh, well for the weekend so I've got a ton of cat food for now and then I've got some pellets for the next day after that and then I'll see what I can do if I can get them to trust me I can take them home no problem but I don't think they are just gonna get into the car <laughs> yeah almost there feeding them in the next few minutes okay, well here they are there's some dubs around here I'm gonna see what I can do. <laughs> Let me see if I can get them. Maybe even to get into the car. Then I can take them out. I don't think they're gonna, but let's just see what we can do. Okay, so I've just placed it over there. Two different types. They will come out and see it. They hang around here. They said they, there is quite a few of them around. So I'll see what I can do. But yeah, at least I know that they will have something to eat now. Okay, I'm just checking them out there. But <laughs> they are right there on the other side. And they will find the food. They're on their way there now. So let me just check that out. Okay, there he is. He is going to find it just down there. Right, let's see that. Not this one, I think it's the next one. Here 
it is. They're gonna find the jazz now. It's gonna take five minutes. But yeah, let me get out of here because they wanna close the place and I need to go feed the tigers. All right, back home a few minutes. Okay, I'm a few minutes late, but that's okay. I'll manage to feed the tigers and the dogs and all of them within the next few minutes. Yeah, there's a tomato growing right there. Okay. <laughs> okay, Enzo. Right, Enzo. Um gonna be there within the next few seconds yeah that is how happy these animals are to see me and Enzo is leading me straight to his feeding spot all the cats around vegetarian cat just running over there got us and there's the Jaeger okay are you boys ready to eat I have to get them to the other side because they are eating red meat today and it's in buckets Bowls, so yeah, Enzo, Diego, you better come this side. And Zach and Sachis is still making a noise. Yeah, this is gonna be a noisy few minutes. <laughs> okay, Diego, Zach, Sachis. Uh, windows dirty, can you believe it? Okay, right, tigers meat right over there. They are ready to eat. Sissy is over here eating already. Just got some there for them as well. Okay, Diego, you guys hungry? Okay. Just come here, this side, Diego. <laughs> okay, Diego, are you ready for that growl? Let's get that growl in three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's growling a little bit. Enzo. Okay, Enzo, don't growl in three, two, one. That was nice, Enzo. He did exactly what I said. Well, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a good day. Ah. Okay, Diego. <laughs> Eat your food. <laughs> Okay, Diego is still eating, but Enzo does not like the red meat. There is his over there in the corner, but, well, he doesn't feel like eating it. So, <laughs> yeah, it's complicated. Tigers don't just eat anything. They want stuff that they like when they are hungry. But Diego at least is eating. But I know, every time I get back to those bowls, the next morning it's empty and then they did go and eat so yeah well guys that's it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that like always have a good day okay the dogs they are getting the pellets with milk <laughs> but i can see they are trying to figure it out what's the best way to get as much milk as possible i think billy's got it figured out there scrape away the pellets and then the milk will just be there and you just lick it <laughs> but zach and sachis didn't get any yet i'm gonna give them something else upstairs because yeah i didn't get enough well chicken left over for the dogs so they're getting milk that is just a quick way of getting around it when something is left out but billy now billy likes it too much okay so it's really early in the morning i'm just making a video live quickly because guess where we are going yeah little smudge pants cat 
we're going to Cape Town. So these lot are just sleeping here on my desk. And uh, yeah. Let me get going before they think. No, actually, I can go back to sleep. I can go sleep another hour. I only have to get out of here at four. Yeah. Because we're flying at six o'clock. So, yeah. Let me give these little ones something. They're all so sleepy. <laughs> Except Smiley Pants. He's up early. Okay, so when you're a YouTuber, you get up at any time of the night or morning or evening or whenever. <laughs> Luckily, there's always a Smiley Pants cat around. Now, we're going to Cape Town for the day. We'll be back tonight. So I'm up early and Enzo recognized that something is different. So he's screaming at me to come and sit with him. So that's something I have to quickly do before we can go. And I hope we don't miss our flight because that won't be good again. So let me get going. Got to spend a little time with Enzo. Smiley pants, you've taken my whole morning. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. Trying to be as quiet as possible in a zoo house is not that easy shit. So, they can all still go to sleep. Enzo key. I'm going to let the boys in here. I'm going to close this up. Yes, I see. You will have to just go some other place around. Then I can open up this. For Zach and Sachis. Enzo Ki. And Diego. Chickens from last night. That is going to be Enzo's <laughs> snack right now. Enzo Ki. Diego. Let's see if Diego gets up. Don't know even where he is. He's still sleeping. Okay, I'll just put it over there. And they ate their bowls clean last night. So they are well fed. Alright, now we're on our way to Cape Town. We'll be at the airport in the next half an hour. See you this afternoon, Enzo. <laughs> Okay, I just kissed Zach and Sachis goodbye. Enzo, I'm not going to kiss right now because he's busy eating a chicken. And yeah, we'll be back tonight. To be continued, Michael said, I must just tell you guys, have a great day.